Exo Terra really have come through here, look. The wife will never let me have a snake in the house. This one is going into the new studio. Whee, here we go. Look at that, loads of Java fern there. We have more worm for you. More worm, whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got bug zappers. Ow, I just smashed my head. Guess what, exciting news. Ow, just walked into that bucket. <laughs> we got a new delivery of some new stuff that I've not really told anyone about yet because I wanted to wait till it arrived because I didn't know what was going on with the situation and that, but it's here, it's being delivered. <laughs> oh. oh, guys, Exo Terra really have come through here, look. But loads of stuff been sent to me. I want to bring it all in, get it all unpacked, and we can see what we've got. Ah, <laughs> there is everything, guys. Right, I just put it all here like this. Whoa, that's bright. Just to do a photo for Instagram and for my YouTube community tab and all that, but now I've got to put it all away. And I'm going to be putting it all, for the time being anyway, into the old stu... Someone's racing. Yeah, I'm gonna be putting it all in the old studio for the time being. I might be wanting to put one of these into the current studio. So everyone, I've moved all of the equipment. There's all the stands that, let me put you in what, every time I forget to go wide. Hey, there we go. So I put all the stands into here, some stuff in there. We've got the two big paludariums there with all the equipment and stuff on top, which is awesome. Uh, light domes. That was so camp, wasn't it? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I've got a big light strip for one of them, still waiting on one of those to come. We've got loads of different things here, yeah. Light dome and then a wire, a wire light dome for like a heat lamp and all different sorts of stuff. So we've got everything we actually need. Well, we, won't, we don't have any lizards or anything like that, but still. But I also have this one, this small one. This one is going into the new studio. So I want to put the new small terrarium next to Mike's tank, right here where this radiator is. Obviously, I'll move the radiator, I'll probably bring it here. It's actually probably be better in the middle of the room as well. But I can have it stacked up. It'll probably come to about this high and about to here, which is good because it means it's not going to impact on this view at all. I can still open all the cupboards and everything. I think it'll just look really good there. It's basically a blank space at the moment. It just means we can walk in. There's something else to entertain us with. I want this one, guys, to be a snake. I don't know if I said that already. I've wanted a corn snake for a long time. Now, I know that's not a fish tank, but this is a paladar at the end of the day, and it's just one extra thing in here that I wanted. The wife will never let me have a snake in the house. So, yeah, it'd be just cool to have something. It'd be, be cool to look at with others as well. At some point, though, once the weather is warmed up, I'm going to be moving into the other small studio, and we're going to have a full lizard and snakes and all of that sort of thing over in that one. And I'm thinking indoor pond at some point as well for Timmy. And then that way we've got all the reptiles in one place. Right guys, not only has ExoTerra dropped off all our stuff, big plant delivery from Tropica as well. Let's see what we've got. First of all, box number one. Out, out, get out, out, out. Oh, ah, CO2 dispensers, perfect. Got. Here we go. Look at that, loads of Java fern there. Ah, oh, yes, a nice hydrocotyl tripper dubba 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 dubba. That'll go nicely. Exact. In fact, I want to use one of those over in the new paludarium. That's going to go good. The new one. Right. So we've got a load of nice plants here. Beautiful. Cryptocurrent. Cryptocarini crispitula. Oh, well, I can say that one. Brilliant. We've got loads of trident. We've got loads of ferns in here, basically. Guys, I love ferns. I just got a ton of ferns. <laughs> I'm going to put them all, though, in this tank because there's loads of space, and that's the holding tank. A lot of these plants, guys, are going to be for this tank that we're building here, which is going to be the angelfish scape. But we're not quite ready for that yet, so we need to put all of these into there. That's all the tall plants in. We've got like loads of Java fern, Bobitus, loads of crypts. We've got the Tropica variety and we've got loads of shorter crypts as well. Hydrocotyl Japan up there. Um, but we've got all loads of shorter crypts here. We've got loads of Bucephalandra. We've got loads of Anubias. But I'm going to put all the short ones probably in the Rainbow River tank. No, no, no. I'll put the short ones in the gravel area of the goldfish tank. They won't mind. Uh, I'll keep some open for them, but I'll just put them in the corners. Yeah, we'll just dot them around a bit. Let's get the small terrarium cabinet 
built and get it all set up and into place. I'm not going to be scaping it or anything yet. It'd just be nice to have it there and, and not just a box on the floor. Now, as much as I hate putting flat pack furniture together, that was a breeze. I have to say, Exoterra done a great job, or whoever their suppliers are, because it's the same quality of build as the IKEA unit next to it. You can see, actually, it's very similar in design and thickness and all that. Everything lined up perfectly. Everything's locked together as it should do. Uh, the same way the IKEA stuff did. So yeah, really well done. Well done, Exoterra, on that one. Now let's get our terrarium on the top. This is going to be so good. I'm like really excited for how this is going to turn out. Obviously, it's going to be a while before we stock, but you know, I can start getting my knowledge together, resources for actually building this paludarium for my snake. It's going to be a corn snake, as I've already said, I think. Did I already say that? Anyway, it's going to be a corn snake. I've wanted one for a very long time, and finally, we can do this. I've just gone out to the shop and I've got some more feeding tongs so that I can feed these. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where are you going? So I can feed these worms that I've got in here. I've got a few little worms that I got from uh, my neighbors. Like, she got like a compost heap with like, she, she makes the worms in them. I don't know. It sounded a lot better than just getting them from the garden anyway. So yeah, I was gonna, I was before feeding Pancho with these metal tweezers, but I don't want to hurt him because he can be quite vicious and I don't want to, you know, like and just damage his mouth. So I've got these little plastic feeding tongs. Hopefully they'll be a lot better. Let's give it a go. Panchy, 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 panchy. I don't know if he's gonna associate the blue with them, see? Cause he, he doesn't know what they, that is. Cause I've always fed him with the metal ones. All right, let's give it a go. Let's get a worm. Get a wiggly worm. We've got the wiggly worm. Let's stick it in and see what Pancho does. Right, turn around for a start. Pancho, can you just turn around? There we go. Right, here you go. You gonna get that? Yes, he got it, he got it. Nice one, buddy, go on. He's not used to something wiggling, you see, his mouth. Oh, don't hide behind there. Okay, there we go, brilliant. Go on, get, yes, okay, there we go. Right, let's carry on. We have more worm for you, more worm. Whoa, 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 okay, he's got the taste now. That one's gone instantly. <laughs> you fancy it? Whoa, yes, here we go, good boy. That's brilliant, that's what I wanna see. Feeding nice and easy. These are only little, so I'm gonna give him more. Okay, Pancho, we've got one more for you. And I'll tell you what, the good thing about these guys is that when I feed him these, it's not gonna pollute the water, is it? And it's not all gonna sit at the bottom. Whoa, yes, boy, instantly. Except for that little bit there. Well, that's awesome, and Pancho does really seem to enjoy those worms. It just means now that we can keep the water quality even better than it was before. Anyway, let's talk about what I wanna be doing in the old studio. So I'm in the old studio. <laughs> It feels so small now compared to what we're actually in nowadays. But what I want to turn this studio into is a reptile and nano tank room shed. So I've got racking system still here from when we was in it previously, but I'll probably take that out and simplify it a bit, make it actually more narrow and against the wall a bit more. And then obviously down here, look, we've got our two big terrariums and the snake one that we've got in the, in the new studio, eventually I'll be able to move that across to here as well. But to start with, I want to keep it in there just while the temperatures are a little bit lower in the mornings at the moment. I don't have to heat two rooms. I will eventually, obviously, but by that point, hopefully we'll be at a million subscribers and I'll easily be able to afford it. <laughs> So if you made it this far into the video, then you might be interested in joining the Behind the Scenes Club, guys. So click the join button below and you can have access to exclusive videos and also just generally help me out as well in creating these videos and enabling me to continue making the content. So a couple of more things I wanted to show you guys that I don't think get very much exposure on my channel at all, to be honest. So quite often I show you guys Pancha, I've showed him feeding in this video, but I often quite forget just to come up to the waterfall area because look, at the detail going on now. Remember, I've not planted any of this stuff at all. When I laid this down, it was just a bit of moss on top of some, you know, black lava rock. And now we've got stuff sprouting out of everywhere. It looks awesome, I'm loving it. And I'm guessing a similar thing will happen over here now, 
on the Newt Paludarium. You can see at the back there, I've added in some Hydrocotyl Japan. That's going to spread over everywhere and give us a really nice fine leaf texture in that area. And it'll just go where it wants. But hopefully, we get some of this stuff going on. Because that looks wicked. I love that. And then also, I wanted to show you over here to this shrimp tank because it is bursting. I was going to clean it all up before I showed you and then I thought, you know what, this is the environment that it is. This tiny little moss ball here is not a moss ball. That is just algae that's containing itself in one ball. I mean, lots of people would just rip that out, but the shrimp seem to really like it. So I'm just leaving it there, leaving a bit of that sort of, you know, filmy, dirty stuff on the edge of that aquarium as well, because they like that. And let's see if I can zoom in to some. There's a there's a few planaria as well. You can see there. Look right underneath that shrimp in the middle there. That little thing wiggling around is a planaria worm. Look, there's one there as well. The other side. I'm not too bothered by that. It's a naturally occurring thing. As long as there's not waste everywhere, the numbers stay pretty low. And I've only seen a few of them. That's actually the first time I've seen two together. To be fair, but you know they're not hurting. It's all nature. I don't know how they got in there. But look along the glass there. Look, you can see there. Oh no, not with my fingers there. But there's loads of babies. We've got some really good breeding action going on here now. And look at that Rotala Hatra as well. That's doing good. This tank is doing so well. It's the most successful shrimp tank. I've ever had to be honest it's only a little thing it's making me want to do some more and bigger ones and then separate the different shrimp we've got as well so yeah just thought i'd give you a little update on that and how well it's going in the war against the flies to combat it i've got bug zappers ow i just smashed my head right here's what we got it's nothing fancy and inside look it's just like a little this is hard one-handed yeah inside look, it's just one of these Hanging from the ceiling, I'm not sure yet. Maybe up here, maybe right over this mossy one at the back there. That might look quite good. Well, not look good, but you won't see it. It'd give off a nice blue light, actually. That'd be quite cool. And then I think I'll put one over here, take this down and get all that glue off the wall that's left. Put one up there, there's plug sockets below. So, and hopefully then, no more fruit, fl fruit flies. There's one right there. <laughs> this we've got like a little disco going on now guys <laughs> hopefully that does the trick but obviously there's so many lights here at the moment the flies aren't going to be attracted to just you know these tiny little lights but i'll leave them on when i turn off the rest of the lights at night hopefully i'll come in the morning and there's none left so coming up soon i'll be escaping this bowl aquarium now i'm going to go for a full no filter dirted tank setup I'm really looking forward to that. All the plants are in, as you've just seen from that little clip. So I'm going to do that as one big video. There's no point splitting it up. There's no actual need to. I mean, with the paludarium, it's a bit different. I actually needed to split that up because otherwise it would be an incredibly long video. But bowl aquarium, small, you can do that all in one go. So yeah, in the previous video, quite a lot of you liking the ferns, but not many of you liking the air plants. And to be honest, I'm not that keen on the Miva, so I'm going to take them out. And one of the things that I need to do now is actually get researching because I don't know anything about snake enclosures. Well, I do, that's that's not true, but I don't know the finer details. And I'm one of those people that wants to get to know everything before I actually do it. And then as well as learning new stuff along the way, I think that's the best way to be. So yeah, the perfect thing is, I've got loads of time to sit and research, haven't I? 